Oh my God, it honestly feels good to be back in my studio and not traveling so much. Today, I list my most expensive figures that I've gotten so far. And we're gonna play a little game just to see how well you know your current Star Wars vintage market prices. And I pick up a figure that's been evading me for a long time. I still can't believe that this figure was on my top worst figure list and it cost this much. Welcome back to the journey. And for those of you that are new, for the last 10 months, I've been collecting the Star Wars Kenner vintage figures made from 1977 to 1985. But I started from nothing, from zero, from scratch. And in that 10 month period, I've been adding to my collection and documenting the whole thing on YouTube. And the whole experience has been one of the funnest things that I've gotten to do in my entire life. So if you wanna go back and check out those episodes to see what I did to get here, go back, start from episode one and binge until you get here. And I promise you, we will all be waiting for you. Trust me. But for this episode, I really was asking myself, what are the most expensive figures that I've gotten so far on this run? And I'm just talking about the loose figures, not the carded, not the graded. And I figured that you, would like to know that info as well. And I use my hands a lot, so if it feels like I'm doing a jazz hand show, I actually am. And we've been through a lot together, you and I. So I really wanted both of us to go back and see what those numbers were. And lucky, I put everything inside a spreadsheet. And it's a visual spreadsheet, so I know what I bought the figure for, who I bought it from, and that has been the best way for me to go back and take a look at where I've been. And also to keep track as to what I need. And if you're thinking about doing this run, I would strongly suggest you making that same spreadsheet, but also I think it'd be a good idea for you to know the prices that I got mine for, so that way you have a benchmark and see if you can get better prices than I did. If you've already completed this run and got your figures, let's say in 1995, then you can make fun of how much I paid for my figures. Yeah, go ahead, rub it in my face and put it down there in those comments. So here we go, I'm gonna do the top 12 most expensive figures from my run. And I'm only doing the loose figures inside that display case. So here is where the game comes in. All right, so I'm gonna put a picture up of all 12 of them. And all you have to do is guess the order from least expensive to most expensive. So if you wanna pause right now, get a notebook out and jot down what you think it is, then go ahead and do that right now. And for a bonus, see if you can guess the prices that I paid for these. And let me know how you do down there in the comments. I wanna see which one of you are the Jedi Knight collectors out there, because I guarantee you, I am not one of them. I'm the Padawan collector after all. I actually really like games like this. So let's go. Coming in at number 12, the R2-D2 in the Droid playset. And this one just broke the 100 mark at $100.50. Number 11, Brown Snake Yoda. Now I did buy his orange counterpart for around $80, but the Brown Snake Yoda doubled that price at $162.42. At number 10, Barada. And I'm including all the prices with the coins. So if you gotta pause and readjust your list, let me know. And I bought Barada and his coin for $100. $163.65. Coming in at number nine, the Imperial Dignitary with his coin. And I got the combination for $164.64. Coming in at number eight, it's two figures that I bought from the same price because I got it from the same seller. It's EV99 and the Imperial Gunner. And they each cost $180.25 and that is without the coins. Great deals for both of them. At number seven, the figure I bought at Star Wars Celebration 2022, Luke Skywalker, Jedi Knight. And I got that for an even $200. Coming in at number six, Han Solo in Carbonite. And with the coin, this cost me $300.42. At number five, Luke Skywalker in his Stormtrooper disguise. And I got that with the coin for $305. Number four, a man a man. And with his coin included, this cost me $315. At number three, it's Lando Calrissian in his general pilot outfit. And with the coin, it cost me $325. Coming in at number two, it's the R2-D2 with his pop-up lightsaber. And with the coin included, this cost me $404. 
And before we get to number one, I have to do a special mention. Because this figure is graded, that marks up the price more than if it was loose, my graded blue snaggletooth that I bought for $725. And coming in at number one, my most expensive loose figure in my collection, the Blue Snaggletooth, coming in at $425. So let me know if you were close to guessing those inside the comments. And now I go on the hunt for the most elusive figure that I've ever had to find. Now you've seen me go on hunts many, many times throughout this whole journey. Some great items, some common items, and some more hard to find especially in great condition. But there are two figures that I've been on hunts for that are really, really hard to find and the ones that have been called elusive by many, many collectors. The Vinyl Cape Jawa and the Yak Face. And at the ICCC con I went to, I did see a Yak Face and it was selling for $850 and it was a very nice graded 80. And looking back, I wish I would have picked that one up and brought it home. And then just a few weeks ago, over at Star Wars Celebration, I saw several yak faces for sale. One was graded at 85, but it was selling for $2,000. And the other one was graded at 85 as well, and it was selling for $1,500. And both of them were very nice, but they were both out of my price point, at least right now. And I eventually wanna get a yak face for my graded run, but I think for that graded run, I'm gonna have to buy a loose yak face at at least what I think could be an 80 and send that in for a grade myself because I don't think I can afford prices as high as $2,000 like I've been seeing, which is why I wish I could have gone back and picked up that yak face that was selling for $850 that was already graded. Hindsight's always 2020. And also at Celebration, I did find a loose yak face selling for $550. Now, I would have considered buying this if I thought I could get it graded at at least an 80 if I sent it in, but it was very, very scuffed up and the condition was very poor on it. And for that price, I couldn't bring myself to pay that amount. And there have been several times online where I've either seen yak faces and placed bids on them whether it be on eBay or one of the Facebook groups, and I either lose the bid or I saw the post too late and couldn't offer a claim to it, or I just flat out didn't think the price was what I wanted to pay for the condition of that figure. And even in my early run, somebody tried to sell me a beautiful, beautiful yak face for $400. And then when I asked for pictures, I got this. One of the close-ups, had a stamp with the letters SLC on the leg. And for those of you who know, this is the stamp of a fan-based reproduction company who makes these that look exactly like the real deal. Um, but the price of these knockoffs is about 60 bucks last time I checked. Maybe they're a little bit more, but you shouldn't be selling these for $400. So lucky I dodged that bullet. So what's the current selling price for a yak face today? And some of you might be watching this five years after I made this video, which makes pretty much all these prices obsolete. So what I'm showing you as a collector is to do your research. So here we go. So if you're doing a hunt for the more expensive figures, then it's a really good idea to check prices before you go out and buy. So I'm gonna show you a few tools that I use to check prices. So I've already shown you some prices that I just found at live events and toy conventions. So we're gonna check online at three sources. First, Star Wars Tracker, second on eBay, and then third on Facebook. Now, Star Wars Tracker is basically like seeing prices on eBay, but I always like to double check anyway. So looking on the Star Wars Tracker, right now prices are hitting about the $600 mark at the high end for a yak face and 450 on the low end but the prices are actually trending down from last year. And on eBay currently, I see a baggy yak face for $5,000. It's nice, but you know, no thank you. And one for 700 or best offer, and that comes from Belgium. Uh, one for $1,000, okay, no. And I see a coin, a Power of the Force coin, being sold for $1,000 as well. All right, so pretty high prices on eBay, so let's go ahead and do a search on Facebook. 
And there's not many yak faces selling currently. In fact, no one is selling a yak face currently on Facebook, but we see a lot of older prices. Uh, see that one sold for 550, another for 500. Great prices for those conditions, but those are older prices. So none that are worth showing right now. But ladies and gentlemen, I can proudly say that as of today, I am a proud owner of a yak face. So the question is, how much did I get it for? But before I get into how much I got for it, let's go into the short history of yak face. The actor who portrayed yak face in the return of the Jedi film is Sean Crawford, who is pictured here with me at the ICCC con in Nashville. And he's a great guy. And with us is Mike Quinn, who portrayed Nine Nub. Mike is also a very talented animator at ILM. Yak Face was first released in 1985, and it was only released in two regions, in Canada, on the Power of the Force cards. And this figure came with a collector's coin and the Skiff Guard staff. And by the way, the coin alone sells for around $1,000 as of this recording. The other release of Yak Face was the European Tri Logo card, and this version of Yak Face was sold with no coin and no Skiff staff. Very, very elusive indeed. But I found a seller on Facebook from Europe who was selling a yak face for $450 and I made that deal. This figure is still on the expensive side in my opinion due to the paint loss on the figure like the hands, shoulder, and some minor scuffs on the pants. I'm guessing this would grade on the low side and I would like to try to get an 80 at least. But for my display case, this was the condition I was looking for and for about the price that I was looking for. I would have loved to get it for 350 but I couldn't see those deals anywhere, in person or online. But at $450, it makes this figure currently my most expensive loose figure inside that case. And I can't believe that I had this figure inside my top worst list, at least worst looking list. I mean, after all that hunting and research just to get this thing, I actually love this figure. I mean, even though it may look like Joe Camel, but now me doing that research, it makes me appreciate it more and digging in to the history of why this is so elusive. So let's go ahead and finally mark this off of our list. The elusive yak face. And we got that for $450, but we still don't have the coin. And that's gonna be another battle. And I've searched high and low for that coin. And let's finally put this inside our display case from Collector Displays, and we are getting one figure closer in completing our loose run. And stay tuned for a very special announcement after some housekeeping. Down in my descriptions are links for supplies that you may need for your collecting journey. And when you click and buy using my links, it does support the channel, so thank you for that. And also, join me on all my other social media. The links for those are on the homepage of my YouTube channel. And we finally have our own merch store. So head on down to the descriptions to get your hands on some Padawan collector gear. And yes, there's even some Rami and Jaws gear. So I'm almost at 3,000 subs. And when I hit that goal, I'm gonna be giving away this 80 grade sand person. And I'm also gonna be giving away this Ahsoka Tano Funko Pop. And no, I am not giving away my yak face. So you have to be a sub to win, so go ahead and hit that subscribe button if you wanna win these two things. And I always announce giveaways at the end of an episode, and for those of you that know that I do that, thank you for sticking around to hear it. So if you found this video interesting, please hit that like button. It does support the channel. And if you wanna see more Star Wars collecting content from me, please consider subscribing. Subscribing is free and it does help out the channel. And also, hit that notification bell if you wanna know when episodes go live. I post videos every Sunday with bonus content on Wednesdays. And as always, my friends, thank you, and I will see you next time. And we're cutting. If you're new to the channel, check out the welcome video or just check out the next episode. And please subscribe if you want to follow the journey. And remember, there is no shame in being a Padawan.